Welcome to Baozi Training Lead Code Solution. If you want the best mock interview experience in North America, feel free to check us out at baozitraining.org. Or uh, if you want to receive the latest uh, technical interview news, feel free to subscribe to our WeChat blog right here. Okay, so today we're going to talk about a very, um, very, very classic question. It's called a reverse linked list. So here, <clears throat> So basically the problem is reverse a singly linked list. Um, lead code here give you a challenge, so you should either do it uh, iteratively or recursively. I think normally we will choose to do it iterati iteratively by keeping a dummy node. This basically gives us the ON solution with uh, no extra space. Recursively is still the same, it's just you have to keep a new head and then keep recursion. So let's quickly write down some code to see the idea, okay? So here we should just always remember you want to keep a you, when you swap those pointers around, right? So you um, so you have to keep your next pointer so that you don't lose anything. So in this case, I was always inserting the node to the dummy node. So for example, if I have a if I have an example like a one, two, three, so I I will keep a dummy and then I will first insert one here and then insert two here. And then in third three here. So this will be basically my, my algorithm. So this is the insertion part. You just want to keep a uh, keep the next one as a temp. So what I'm going to do is I will have the um, current dot next points to dummy dot next. Now dummy dot next needs to be pointed back to uh, current and then current will just equals to 10 and then continue. So after this, we'll just return a dummy dot next. So let's take a quick look at the code. Check this. This is basically, this is a classic, classic reverse by keeping this line. So keep next pointer. Right, and then you just keep doing this. This looks correct to me. Let's submit the code. Okay, so this basically gives us O O N no extra space. Very easy, very straightforward. Um, so how about recursion? So let's just write down the recursion part. So for recursion, the basic thinking is to have one, two, three, right? So when, for example, if you write a node one, so you want you can assume the rest of the node is already recursed, like a three and a two, and then all you need to do is append this one to the tail of the node. So basically, your helper function will return the tail, return tail of the node. So then, what will be the what will be the uh, new head? The new head will be basically the last last node. In this case, is three. So whenever you recursion to the left here, I'll just keep use a uh, global variable for the for the purpose of this practice. Normally, keeping a global variable is not that good, but for algorithm questions, as if it makes your life easier using recursion, so why not? So basically, here if node dot next equals to now, that means I'm already at my end. So I just uh, this the new head will be my new node and um and here I actually want to return this node so this node will be my last node for the recursion part right and least node tail will always be my helper so 
dot next. So after I did this, all I need to do is so this is like post order transversal type of way. So now node.next will just tail.next will be just my current node. Node.next will equal to now. And then here I'll just return my node as the new tail. And here um, head. And then I'll just return this dot new head. Let's check the code super quick. Recursion, node.next, tail.next, okay, it looks correct to me. So this is also no extra space on time if you don't consider the recursion, recursion function stack. Okay, looks all good. Uh, yeah, typical question. So this is, a, as a summary, the dummy node one is more, is more heavily used, keeping a dummy node and then by having the current on next, you keep track of this. So uh, re just remember that it's a very useful algorithm. And you can use it as, as a atomic function so that you know for a linked list, you can easily revert it using this. Thank you very much for watching. Ciao.